Now, one thing that I remember growing up is the first man on the moon. And I was a young boy, and these Apollo missions. We don't get a lot of coverage of the Apollo missions in Earth science class. So I would like to just take a minute, and maybe you could describe what we have here. And we'll start with the patches. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this, this is my, my office here on the Gibbs campus of St. Petersburg College. And uh, I grew up with the Apollo Moon program. That's one of the reasons I'm here, I guess, because that really inspired me and meant walking on the moon when I was a kid. And uh, I love this. Yeah, these are all the, the Apollo mission patches. And uh, e each is really very distinct. Uh, this is the Apollo Moon program patch. And then, uh, of course, Apollo 1, uh, where the three astronauts were killed in the fire on Apollo 1. But uh, the, my favorites, I think, Apollo 8. Uh, you can see the, you know, the numeral 8 going around the moon, actually tracing out their path from the Earth to the moon there. That's the uh, Apollo 8 mission patch. And uh, Apollo 11 is one of my favorites, too. You know, the first moon landing, uh, an eagle carrying an olive branch to the surface of the moon. I just think that's a, that's a fantastic patch. Uh, here's Apollo 13, which, again, almost ended in disaster. And uh, some of these mission, most of these mission patches, they have the astronauts' names. But the two that don't, uh, Apollo 11, notice it doesn't have the astronauts' names on there, and Apollo th Apollo 13 also does not have the astronauts' names, but those are all the Apollo mission patches. Okay, and I'm, this picture I remember from growing up. Yeah, that's the famous Earthrise picture from Apollo 8, showing, showing the Earth as a blue marble rising above the surface of the moon. And below that is uh, a view of uh, Apollo 15, which uh, landed... Uh, in the mountains of the moon. I think that's uh, Dave Scott there saluting the, the American flag. This is a very famous picture. Yeah, that's a Buzz Aldrin. That is a signed uh, limited edition print uh, signed by Buzz Aldrin. Uh, his famous picture on the moon. No pictures of Neil Armstrong on the moon because Neil Armstrong had the camera. So all the pictures were of Buzz Aldrin. No selfies back in the 60s? Uh, no selfies back then, yeah. Now I remember seeing this beauty when I was in the cafe uh, at NASA itself. Uh, what, what's this? Well, that's the Saturn V moon rocket. And the Saturn V moon rocket is, of course, what took, took us to the moon, uh, about seven million pounds of thrust. And it's interesting, the only thing that actually comes back from that is the very top piece, that cone-shaped piece at the top, that's the command module, that's the only thing that actually returns. And uh, so this is uh, one of the biggest models you can get, actually. Uh, we got this from the Florida International Museum. They had a Kennedy exhibit. And, of course, part of the Kennedy exhibit was the moon program. And so they actually had this model uh, custom built. Uh, not just the rocket itself, but the entire what's called the launch umbilical tower that goes with it. And uh, at great expense, they had that constructed and, and made just for that exhibit. But when the exhibit was over, they didn't want it anymore. And so they asked us if we wanted it. And yeah, yeah, we'll take it off your hands, sure. Well. <laughs> so now it's in my office. So you could consider this one of the world's largest gas tanks. Uh, basically, yeah, that is almost entirely fuel. Uh, the only part that doesn't carry fuel is uh, from here up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is where the lunar module, the lunar lander was stored, uh, but everything from there down is fuel. Yep. Well, thank you, sir, <laughs> and thank you so much for uh, allowing us uh, into, your, into your office and into uh, your planetarium. Uh, my, uh, my students are going to benefit greatly. Mm -hmm. My children <laughs> benefited greatly, and so did I. Thank you so much. We're, um, we're indebted to you. Good. My pleasure.